what I eat in a day to stay in shape, healthy and vegan in Biza, life update. I believe this should be titled, what I eat in a day to look like my tennis player boyfriend, but I guess let's see what's up. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna film a what I eat in a day today. I am in Ibiza right now. It's almost, it's already like summer here. We got a summer house in Ibiza last year and it's- I mean, are we not being realistic? Like how many vegan girls have you seen with abs like that? Finally ready now and just had the best time here. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Does anyone genuinely believe, yeah, you know, you're in Ibiza, you're rich, you're successful, you have professional video editors. There's no way they're actually following this vegan diet nonsense. What do they just film a video twice a month? Just this morning, um, and I were playing tennis and before that- <laughs> Guys, guys, I swear to, I swear I had no idea they play tennis. That was just a joke I came up with. And I was actually debating do I say tennis player boyfriend or soccer player boyfriend? <laughs> that is too funny. I was doing my Instagram workout. I started creating workout plans every week on Instagram and they're saved in my story highlights. And I'm doing weekly life workouts and yeah, we can all work out together, motivate each other and stay fit together. I'm gonna make a green smoothie. Um, so I already <laughs> did a little uh, meal prep. I washed all my greens. Here in Ibiza, it's so nice. Once a week, I get this uh, box with lots of fresh green veggies and fruits from my local farm and it's all organic and they get delivered to your house which is so well it's organic but the, the problem is and what's kind of crazy with the brainwashing that people think something green and low calorie is healthy just in general when it comes to health advice from the mainstream media the opposite of what they're saying is true you know if they say fruits and vegetables are healthy <laughs> they're probably not healthy if they say organic doesn't matter it probably does matter all you have here is just bulk there's no scenario in any diet in any person where you would eat those leaves unless you were trying to vomit them up later for your pet hamster or something super nice so what i do because it's quite dirty when it gets here i wash all the greens and then i have them pre-washed in the fridge and i don't know about you guys but i hate washing greens and this just makes it so much easier to make like green smoothies daily and i'm just much more likely to actually make them if anything, like the dirt and bacteria that was on the greens might be the only semblance of nutrition. I bet if you did like a case study between people who wash their vegetables and people who don't wash their vegetables, the latter would be far healthier. Um, when I know I have them like pre-washed in the fridge. So yeah, just a little tip in case you are struggling with making green smoothies and they're so healthy, you should definitely not miss out. This kitchen is so perfect for filming. Maybe we'll do a kitchen tour later or in a different way. Look, look, <laughs> with her skin complexion and the length of her hair, <laughs> she's eating fish at least once a week. In case you need more inspiration for green smoothie recipes, um, you can get my 21 day vegan reset. It has 21 green smoothie recipes and lots of delicious recipes for every day. So yeah, I'm gonna add my water first. This always helps, um, so it blends easier. And then what do we have? We have some kale, super high in vitamin C and protein, minerals. And then we have some Swiss. I got a question, young lady. If you drink that green shake and it comes out the other end the same way, did you absorb any of the nutrition? You might as well write down each of those nutrients, vitamins, and minerals on a piece of paper. Eat the piece of paper because that's basically what you're getting. Tart, all organic, and some romaine, they're all kind of mixed together. So basically my like rule for green smoothies is 80% greens and 20% fruit. Um, because I really like my smoothies green because this is just such a good way to get more greens into your diet pair during summer as well Which makes me super happy. So yeah, I have my greens in there and now I'm gonna get some fruit You know when I quit bodybuilding when I was trying to fix my health uh, after taking uh, that pharmaceutical drug Accutane I was actually doing smoothies and I remember every time I drank a smoothie I would immediately just shit my brains out afterwards 
but I never use like this amount of vegetables. Like I like I probably use like 70 to 80% fruit. These must taste horrible. It's absolutely disgusting that these people are telling, you know, the general audience, the masses that this crap is healthy. It, it disgusts me. You know, you're wasting money. You're destroying your body. You're not getting healthier. And she does it with a fucking smile on her face, a grimace in her fucking uh, villa in Ibiza. Like, go fuck yourself. Really. Seriously. So I think I still have, yeah, I still have two left. So I will use one for his banana and also some frozen pineapple. So if you ever have overly ripe fruit and you don't know what to do with it, just freeze it and use it for your smoothies. It's so good. So, yeah. And I am using about a handful of frozen pineapple. And that's it. I keep it super simple. So creamy and smooth. This is literally... All right, let's be honest, boys and girls. If she came up to you with that smoothie in that outfit, would you drink it? The healthiest thing you can drink. All right, I'm gonna take my smoothie outside. I put the watermelon in the fridge so it stays fresh as I have my smoothie first. Gonna go in the sunshine. Ah, oh, such a nice day. This is so ridiculous. my sunny spot and here we have my fig tree I'm so excited about this one I always wanted to have a fig tree how old is she is she getting uh, wrinkles and age lines already from drinking all this vegan nonsense hey at least the green matches the uh, <laughs> the environment right maybe she should start clipping her uh, her, uh, her bushes and trees although she definitely pays someone hundreds of dollars a week to do that Mm, it's so good. So refreshing and cold and creamy. So I would always recommend have your green smoothie first and then... Do they grow bananas and pineapples in Greece? These, these vegans are so hypocritical. Your first meal um, because this way it's easier to digest and you know green smoothies don't really need much time to digest as they're already blended and uh... yeah because you literally just they literally destroy your stomach so you don't have to digest them they just come out the other end and it's kind of funny because these vegans will try to convince you that shipping a banana and a pineapple halfway across the world is better for the environment than like a local cow or sheep it, it's it's absolutely comical it's it's so ridiculous um yeah also i thought i did a q a on instagram the other day and while I have my smoothie, I could answer some of your questions. Okay, first one is I love fruits, but I'm struggling to eat more uh, She gives health advice. Great. That's your answer. <laughs> Easy, convenient. Um, how many grams of protein do you eat in a day? So I never track what I eat, like I don't count calories and I don't count macros, but um, yeah, so I really don't know, but I just go by how I feel and what my body's craving. And I swear, these are like the same basic answers that these liars give to people. Same cookie cutter answers, they don't know crap about health. Oh, I just look like this, like. And I get most of my proteins from greens, from nuts, from seeds, from, from oats, the sushi. Avocado, Your tennis player um, boyfriend buys you every like weekend. Mushrooms and potatoes, quinoa, rice, uh, green peas, things like that. So yeah, that's also another question where I get my protein from. So those are my go-to protein sources. So next one is how many days a week do you work out? So I work out about six days a week, sometimes five days a week, and I follow my workout plans. I started to create them about eight weeks ago, and I just love my work. Lady, you already plugged the workout course. You don't have to plug it twice in the same video. Good community on Instagram, and it's so fun to work out. Speaking of which, if you want a legitimate workout course, uh, I haven't spoken about this in a while, we have Frank Tefano's maximum volume hypertrophy training routine available on frank-tefano.com from someone that's actually carved out of steel. So 
with you guys and yeah do this together so I follow my own plans I create 30 minute 45 minute um, 60 minute and a beginner plan they're all saved in my story highlights on Instagram all right I will get my second green smoothie and watermelon you know it's funny I was about to say after she had that cup you know she looks like a two or three cup kind of girl and then I will answer a few more questions later <laughs> I mean, if I had to be honest, like, would I rather be sweating my guts out and freezing my balls off in my godforsaken warehouse in New York eating meat? Or would I rather be half naked in Ibiza all day sucking down watermelon, poisoning my liver? I think we know the answer to that one, boys. We did this already, didn't we? So I started doing my own workouts a year ago. And before Isn't this a day that, of eating? I was mainly doing HIIT workouts, um, lots of just running and spinning and boxing and this is really just a sales pitch for her dog shit workout app isn't it things like that and oftentimes it would just like stress me out and i would just feel like very exhausted and stressed and i think my cortisol levels this is like me doing a day of eating and throwing in questions in there about people asking me about like the quality of my meat and things about frankie syringe meat and me trying to just push my products like half the video were too high my body was holding on to water weight so i just got like naturally a bit leaner just following my own workouts so and i find them so fun and so not this stressful. is so I'm this so is so funny but not like exhausted so what's wrong your boyfriend doesn't make enough money playing with other boys on the tennis court you have to you have to push your products this this is these people are so out of touch with reality they have no clue how they sound I do that and I still like to do a little bit of cardio here and there so I will do maybe like twice a week 20 minutes of running or spinning um, but I don't just like mainly do cardio. What is this like background music? Are we having a revelation? A little bit of cardio compared to mainly doing cardio with a little bit of something else. Mm. I mean so far she's probably filled her stomach up like three times between those green smoothies and that ridiculous amount of watermelon. And for how many calories? 100, 150? It's insane. So yeah, I'll have my watermelon first, then I'll wait a little, and then i show you what else I have. Might as well be fasting, it'd be healthier. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! We got a gold fork. Wasn't there like another vegan that was eating with gold silverware, which is was funny? Because we make the contrast between the gold silverware and the slave diet. Maybe they're hinting they're not actually doing it. I'm also having a bowl of juicy honey melon. They're so good here, super ripe and sweet. And yeah. I am also having some menstrual dates um, and I'm uploading a new workout on Instagram. So. So far, we have basically no nutrition and now just pure sugar. There's no way she eats this every day. Housekeeper in the back. Looks like an old Greek man. I, I really don't get it. How is how? You had a green smoothie. You had four different types of melon, and now you're putting a bunch of tomatoes on some bread. Am I missing something? Is this the destroy your liver with colorful shit diet? Okay, it is dinner time. I was a bit lazy today to cook, so I ordered some sourdough bread, and this is like an organic um, seed bread from um, our restaurant here. And um, I already toasting two slices. Um, I love this panini grill. We actually got it like in the lockdown in London last year, and we used it so much, so we got one here as well. Um, yeah, so I'm toasting these. I love everything, super crunchy and almost like burnt. Um, and then here I ordered some avocado. It also has some olive oil on it. Um, what did she spend $30 and, yeah, on bread and half I an avocado? Olive oil on it, but I forgot to say that. And then I have some tomato bruschetta leftovers and um, a bit more avocado here. 
And that's it. So I will just make some nice avocado toast and tomato bruschetta. I'm gonna add some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds for a bit more protein, healthy fats, and that's really it. She's having <laughs> That's really it. What? Okay, I mean, the people in the comments are awake. No one's mentioning the fact that she's barely eating a concrete meal. Uh, just raw fruits and veggies. I mean, I mean, this is... I mean, I think this is half fake comments. Or mostly fake comments. Some delusional people. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess she's not really, like, super popular yet. Because she has the personality of a dead brick. But, hey, what are you going to do? Can't have everything. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below if there are any more ridiculous day of eatings you guys would like me to check out. This one is just like, uh, like, like are these people so out of touch with reality they don't rewatch their videos? Like, I, I really don't get it. Uh, but if you guys could also drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses and support me further. Uh, so thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.